So like, share, and subscribe if these messages resonate with you. I'm starting off with a general energy read, and I'm going to be using the uh, Dream Power cards for that. And the first card is the water, and you can see it's coming out of this fountain. So there is, it's very, very contained. So there is a need for you uh, to, you know, maybe take control of your emotions. If you're feeling a bit upset about things, you need to get, uh, you know, a, a balance coming in as far as your emotional life goes. Uh, maybe try not to go over the top as far as emotions go um, and, uh, you know, control any kind of uh, despair that you might be feeling, any negative emotions, those need to be controlled. You got the chasing card over here, so it seems like you're getting away from a situation. Uh, you're afraid of this, uh, maybe, people or, uh, or a person that you were involved in, and you seem to want to move away from them. You've got the airplane card over there as well, so it seems like you really are traveling, uh, maybe going overseas, maybe doing some foreign travel. So you're leaving uh, the situation in quite a hurry there, uh, and maybe you're worried, uh, you know, you, um, you, you want to get out of this particular relationship pretty quickly there. It might have been too emotionally overwhelming, and maybe this is the reason why you, you want to leave it. This person seems to have been very controlling. You've got the whip card over there, so somebody manipulating you, controlling you, making you do things you didn't want to do. You've got the three over there, so it looks like, you know, uh, the three is usually a card of heartbreak or, or a number of heartbreak or conflict or, uh, you know, where you have uh, a third-party situation could have been uh, the, the issue there. Or maybe you even wanted to get uh, together with friends more and maybe this person was very, very controlling. And so it seems like you have left this relationship in rather a hurry. And you can see there are three people chasing this person. So uh, with that three card over here, there seems to have been some kind of conflict, maybe even a breakdown of communication between you and this person. And you want to move or leave that situation pretty quickly. So much so that you may be even thinking about traveling or taking a holiday or just getting out of that situation uh, pretty fast. Now, uh, for the final outcome, you've got three cards that fell over here. So the hat is about doing a lot of thinking, um, uh, using your intellect as well, being very logical about how you handle situations. So you, you seem to be emotionally detaching from the situation. You've got the mouth over there, so you do need to communicate whatever you want to say. You do need to get it out there and say your piece. And you've got the jewel over there, so you know you are looking for something, uh, a, a new relationship that has got uh, more stability in it. Uh, you know, maybe something even more financially stable as well with that jewel card. So you're looking for something uh, that is long term, but also has got more stability and uh, a lot more security uh, as well with that new relationship that you want. So these are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to be drawing uh, cards from the Art Nouveau Tarot. Okay, uh, so you've got the Magician card over here. So this is uh, the card ruled by Mercury. This could be travel, communication. Uh, starting to focus on manifesting maybe a new relationship in your life and something that has more security because you can see there's a lot of pentacles up in the air here. So this is about getting security or, uh, you know, stability and you're working very, very hard at it. You seem to have ended a relationship. There's a, uh, you know, this is the Ten of Cups. So it might have been a marriage uh, that has dissolved and right now, and it might have dissolved because of lies and deceit. Um, you know, magician is also about uh, being quick-tongued about it. But it seems like you're working pretty hard to manifest something new. Now, the magician is your card. It's ruled by Mercury, and Virgo uh, is ruled by Mercury as well. So you're taking on that uh, energy of being somebody who is communicating quite a bit, working pretty hard, multitasking. Uh, you're very busy at the moment, but you're also trying to manifest something brand new, a new aspect of a relationship after you've ended an old relationship over there. It seems like there was quite a breakup there because you've got that six of swords, so moving away from something that may have been a divorce. And I say it's divorce because the first two cards here, you've got the page of swords and you've got the ace of swords. So this is making a clean break and this is after legal news comes in. So there's some kind of legal decision that you're waiting for and once that comes in, there's victory on your side. Um, there seems to have been a lot of drama. You've got a, like, a lot of flames in the background over there. But a decision will be made, and it looks like it might go in your favor as well. 
You've got the King of Cups over here and the Knight of uh, Coins over here. So this is about uh, leaning on somebody around you for some kind of uh, support. So you might have been getting a lot of advice. It might be a father figure there uh, with that King of Cups. You may have even, uh, you know, needed to go and get some uh, medical attention as well with that King of Cups because this is the card that rules health uh, or the doctor or, you know, some kind of uh, um, expert as far as medical uh, issues go. You have been focusing a lot on your coins, so you're working very, very hard right now, and that seems to be where your attention is. But going through a very difficult situation, so going through some kind of divorce over here, you're certainly spending a lot of time by yourself with that Queen of Swords, and this is the divorcee of the tarot, so somebody who's separated, gone through a lot of pain, hiding it a lot as well, but also spending a lot of time by yourself. You've become very independent, and you're not listening to what anybody's got to say. You're very defensive as well. Um, and also, you might well be waiting for some kind of legal decision to come in there with that Queen of Swords. And you've got the Justice card going into the future. So this is about waiting for legal decision to come in. Uh, and this is a divorce, uh, most definitely a divorce, because you've got all these cards are about swords. So you've got that Page of Swords, that decision coming in. Uh, it, it looks like it's going to be a victory. And here you are sitting and waiting with that Queen of Swords for the Justice card, which is a legal decision being made right now or will be coming in very soon. Now, what's happening with you? You've got the Two of Cups over here. So this could be you offering an apology or somebody coming in and offering an apology to you, and you might be considering accepting this particular apology because this is the energy around you. This could also be you, uh, you know, getting into a new relationship, meeting somebody who is on the same emotional level as you, almost a soulmate connection. You've got the King of Staves over here, so this could be an offer that comes in for you. Uh, this might be a very uh, passionate offer that comes in with that King of Staves. It could be from a fire sign. So this could be uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy coming in over here, but it looks like there's an offer coming in for you there. Uh, maybe you admire this person quite a bit, and there's also a lot of communication coming in from this person. So, uh, you know, they might be a business person um, as well, um, in charge, uh, you know, very authoritative. So it looks like there's that offer coming in over here. And with that Two of Cups, you might be thinking of starting a relationship with this particular person. So you are still heartbroken about what happened. This is in your hopes and fears. And, uh, you know, you're still very, very defensive. You've got her gripping the sword very closely to her, but alone in this field. So you're feeling very lonely. Uh, maybe there's a, a, been a breakdown of communication between you and this person. Uh, and, uh, you know, you're feeling very isolated. You're uh, trying to stand your ground. Uh, but very heartbroken about what happened. So going into the future, you've got that Ten of Swords, uh, the Five of Rods, and the High Priestess. And there again, these two cards showing all the conflict that happened, a lot of power struggle within that relationship, and a complete ending. That man is dead, so this relationship is also dead, it seems. And it seems like there was a legal ending as well. So this is the divorce that happened, uh, and it seems like you can't reconcile. So even if you're thinking about making uh, an apology or accepting an apology, it seems like they might not, it might not work out. There seems like there's a divorce that goes through, but if you'll get back together again, it looks like there will be a lot of conflict and arguments, and again, back to the same power struggle. So there is a need for you to, uh, you know, keep to yourself, trust your instincts, uh, make a decision as well, because she's between these two trees here. Keep all your uh, whatever you want to do to yourself. Um, and, uh, you know, rely on your own instincts when dealing with the situation. This is also going it alone, uh, but and being very independent of anybody else. So it seems like you are keeping to yourself over there, but also there is a need for you not to really divulge information about what you want to do. It seems like if you start, if you accept uh, an apology or you try to reconcile, this may not end up, uh, you know, how you want, and uh, it might end up, uh, causing more conflict, um, especially after you all have been uh, legally separated or there's been a big uh, drama as far as that separation goes. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Archangel Power Tarot. So you've got the Five of Ariel, which is the Five of Pentacles, and you needn't go through this current situation by yourself. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. So you are feeling very isolated, very insecure, very alone, feeling left out in the cold, feeling let down, 
Uh, but there are people around you that will give you help and assistance and, you know, give you some really practical advice on how to handle the situation. You need to, to open up, speak to people, get out there. You've got the Nine of Michael. You're very stressed out. Your worries are necessary. Focus on the thoughts. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of guilt, regret, or worry to your angels. So you're probably not sleeping well at night, very stressed out, things going round and round in your head. You need to get out of your head a little bit. Uh, you know, do something that uh, dissolves all that stress. Meditation is a good way to combat any of this anxiety that you're going on. And with the page of Michael, an exciting new challenge, you have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents thoroughly. Now, you started off with the page of uh, swords, and now you've got the page of swords appearing again. So there's some important legal news coming in over there for you uh, so that decision will be making be made and it will come in pretty quickly you can see there's a parting of a of the clouds over here so it's going to bring uh, you know some kind of um, happiness maybe uh, or um, maybe a resolution of all these difficulties uh, some kind of peace and calm coming in after the decision or the legal judgment has been passed and you are waiting for that news to come in it will be coming in pretty soon uh, so stop trying try not to be anxious there seems like there is victory in the situation but you'll have to make a clean break with that sword ace of swords and move on after this has happened and you know uh, maybe apologies uh, are really not in order here you need to recover from this particular situation first uh, and recover from all the drama that went on so keep all your information to yourself and uh, you know try and reuse your intuition when you're dealing with things. So I hope this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.